Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Dreadhead Ninja Bar, Rodimus Black, coming back at you. And I want to welcome you back to yet another Rodimus Black Presents. And today I'm going to be talking about snail Um, You probably never even heard of those, and it's for a good reason. They're not the greatest action figures ever made. But they are kind of cute, and they are fun. So I'm um, just going to make this a real quick video. Don't really have a whole lot to talk about here. But um, I do want to share it because, you know, it's something that was big to me when I was younger and now I'm gonna now I bought them and I'm gonna share them with you and hopefully you like them so um, here's the whole premise behind these guys so there's four of them um, we're just gonna go from left to right so in green we have Lincoln this is uh, one of them and he has this little guy right here on his chest that pops off he's another little miniature action figure that assists him with all his little adventures and other whatnots um, then we have over here in the, I want to say dark purple and light purple, um, that's Jefferson and <laughs> yeah, I never actually took out the time to learn their little guys names, but, um, yeah, they just pop right onto their chest. Why does my camera seem so fuzzy? Let me see if I can fix that. Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit better. All right. So yeah, he has this little guy right here. That's his little companion. He has his little snail shell on his back and his armor. Um, they're all pretty much the same, just different colors of each other. Um, over here in the purple, purple is Roosevelt. And in red, we have Washington. Um, and like I said, they all have their little snail shells that go on them. Now, the premise, the uh, thing, okay, let me, let me back up, back up. Okay, so the premise of this is that in the city of San Francisco, um, in some kid's backyard, there's another little city called Snail Francisco. Uh, not at all a clever play on words, if you ask me. Um, but basically, the Snail Francisco gets invaded by these guys, and they're called the Lunatics. Or as I like to say, the Lunatics. Shout out to Nelly. Um, but yeah, they got these little Lunatic guys. They invade Earth, and these guys come in to save them, and they do battle. All right, so they all have these, uh, like I said, these little guys that come with them. They're their little companions. They have their snail shells, and then they have these armors that they go into. All right, so they pop out of the armor, and they're just like a naked snail man, a super buff naked snail man in tights. Okay, um, so they can battle, they fight. They're not poseable at all. They're just kind of rubbery, um, cheap plastic. Not cheap, but, you know, just rubbery figures. Nothing special about them um and then you just put them in their armor when it's time to do battle and boom he's ready to go all right and they all do the same thing they all have that same exact gimmick same exact armor uh yeah there we go all right so yeah and there's washington outside of his armor he has on the red um the red biker shorts with the wristbands that are stripes on them um, I guess and these came out in like 1992, which would put me at about 11 years old when I first discovered them. Um, basically, like one day I was up the at the mall with my mom and we were at the dollar store. And if you don't know what that is, it's a store where everything in the store costs a dollar. And if you don't believe me about that, look it up. They do exist still. Uh, but anyways, my mom was in there shopping and I bumped into these and she gave me a dollar and I bought one. And I was so excited by it that I went home, I saved up with some money so I can go back to that dollar store and buy the whole set the next time. And guess what? They were all sold out and I never saw them again. So that's what kind of made me want to buy them over again. And I just so happened to look out and buy and find a pretty decent lot on eBay for a you know, nice little price. Um, but yeah, I got all four of the Snailians. And then over here, we have all the lunatics all right i don't know their names at all but they all have like again the same type of armor um they have their little backpacks snail shell things this one has like the big teeth and yeah i don't want that tick to bite me i don't want any tick to bite me but yeah that tick would really suck this glove makes it hard as heck to take these things on and off all right here we go so here's one of the ticks outside of their armor you see him he's looks like a bad guy that's something you want to mess with I mean if you woke up one morning and saw that thing attached to your leg you'd freak the hell out but uh yeah 
But yeah, so these guys attack the Snail Francisco, and the Snailians are now stuck on Earth doing battle with them. I did a little bit of research on it just before I, you know, started doing this video, just because I wanted to have a little bit more to talk about. Um, and like I said, it's just something that was fun for me when I was a kid, and um, and I really liked them. They had like a nice little catch, you know, nice little song to go along with their intro. But they never actually made a cartoon about it. But it kind of looked like they were preparing to, but the toy line never took off, and they just abandoned the whole ideal. But um, yeah, so here's what happens with the shells. They have these little power things. They're like little squishy balls. And you take this little shell, you put that on the shell, and you flip it inside out like that. And then that will pop. And now I'm going to have to go find that later before my dog eats it. All right, but yeah, so that's the Snailians. Um, I'll link a, a video to um, like their intro song in case you're interested in, you know, learning a little bit more about them. But yeah, I just thought this was a cool, cute little toy. I, I, I liked playing with them when I was a kid. And since I bought them, I figured, you know, I'd share it with you guys just in case, you know, nobody ever heard of them. Because everybody's heard of the Ninja Turtles. Most people know about the Street Sharks, Spiker Mice from Mars. Um, so forth and so on, but this is one of those smaller little more obscure lines that I don't really think ever got any real recognition or really any airtime. So, like I said, picked them up, sharing them. If you like them, nah, they're pretty inexpensive on eBay. They're relatively cheap. So, you know, if you're just looking for something small, fun, doesn't take up a lot of shelf space in your collection, I mean, in your display case, um, you know, I, I definitely, they're definitely worth giving it a look. I mean, they're definitely fun, definitely colorful, and um, definitely a, a, a 80s to early 90s inspired theme for the for their project. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got on the Snailians. I'm going to go ahead and play with these, and I'm going to go find that one that I popped, and uh, hopefully I can find it before my dog does. So, on that note, y'all, uh, as always, thank you so much for the support. I'm up to like 87, 88 uh subscribers now which is really awesome um i made a good pal i have a good pal sardo numspa um the black gentleman um i got a lot of comments you know i'm getting likes it's growing slowly but surely and you know i'm enjoying the process so if you're enjoying it with me and you like what i do here definitely make sure to hit the like button definitely subscribe to the channel you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna keep on doing this this is you know just a new part of the hobby for me so yeah i hope you guys liked it um you know, I hope y'all be cool, be safe out there, and as always, man, peace.